Hello everyone, I am Dr. Pani Madhuri, Consultant Reproductive Medicine at Matutpa Fertility Center, Kodmangla, Bangalore. Abnormal uterine bleeding is one of the conditions why women see their healthcare provider very often. It can happen at various stages, many many times all throughout the reproductive period of a woman. Now polycystic ovarian syndrome or polycystic ovarian disease is a very uh, typical condition which is characterized by three important features which is irregular menses, hyperandrogenism that is excessive uh, male kind of hormones in your body which can be depicting like uh, acne or excess facial hair or body hair or various other signs, hoarseness of voice etc. And the other thing is polycystic ovarian pattern on the ultrasound examination of the ovaries. Now polycystic ovarian disease patients also have abnormal uterine bleeding quite often as compared to the other normal women. Why does this happen? Polycystic ovarian condition is a very typical condition where unlike the normal women, there is no regular release of an egg every month. That is, a follicle does not grow to an optimum size of about 18 to 20 millimeters in the probable first half of the cycle and does not release an oocyte because of which the second half of the hormone or the cycle does not happen and hence there is no regular menses. All the follicles are stuck in the small size and most of them fail to grow to the optimum size for the release to happen. So these small follicles secrete a hormone called estrogen. Now this estrogen is a female hormone which causes to increase the lining of the uterus. Normally this very thin fragile lining of the uterus keeps on growing in size because of the estrogen hormone and once it becomes too thick it may not have the enough support to supply the blood to the last area of the endometrium and this thin portion could keep on shedding on and off in the form of spotting and later on these women could also have heavy bleeding which can carry on for many many days in the form of polymenorrhagia. So what happens is because of this excessive estrogen and the lack of progesterone there is no supportive hormone to support the endometrium these women can have on and off spotting. Whenever women has irregular periods or any of these features of polycystic ovarian disease, it's always advisable for them to see their gynecologist and most of the times this abnormal uterine bleeding in PCO patients is treated with various hormones like progesterones or contraceptive pills or sometimes progesterone releasing IUDs that is intrauterine devices. So uh, in some women unfortunately they may not respond adequately to medical treatment and may even require surgical treatments like DNC or endometrial ablation or other procedures.